Hey everybody, this is Elena and welcome to the biggest empties you have ever witnessed. Like with me, I have this huge garbage bag that I've been collecting over the past 7-8 months and I decided to, <laughs> to start reviewing the products right now. I've been saving it for this channel and we'll start with number one which is a multiple empties or oh, we'll see through. And Let's just start. Okay, I'm sorry. With number one, Bioderma. It's gotta be a review as well. Uh, Bioderma, Sensebio, you know, the micellar water everyone's talking about. It's good. It's good. Is it worth the price? Well, it's good. I mean, but you can use a Garnier one or many other more. This doesn't mm, sting my eyes as much as the Garnier one. It's more gentle, but it's also good. So. If you want to splurge, go ahead, be my guest. If you don't, there are cheaper alternatives. Does it work? Yes. Okay, moving on. We'll move on to this Garnier <laughs> um, makeup remover, waterproof makeup remover towel. I have used a ton of this. We're gonna see many more of this. <laughs> I'm just going as if out of the bag. I haven't selected or collected or anything. I'm just gonna tell you as is, and they are good. I uh, they are my favorite ones. Moving on onto her products, I'm gonna mention the L'Oreal Elnet Satin uh, Fixing Spray with heat protectant, uh, straight for three days kind of spray, which I ran out. And did I like it? Yes, but I much prefer the Tresemme. Uh, heat protecting and John Free the strainer spray than this one. Does it work? Yes, but it's not the best one. Moving on onto hair mascara. Mas uh, it's an intensive hydration by Tresemme for damage and dry hair. Um, it's good. It's good. I mean, it's empty. I must have liked it. Moving on. The Dove. Um, Karate and Vanilla Shower Gel, it's pretty good as well, I mean, it smells really good, let's, let's just give it another whip, it's comforting for the winter, I recommend it. Moving on, on to hair, oh, sorry, and the skincare, um, this is a Spanish brand called Bella Aurora and this is uh, an anti-spot treatment with SPF 50. It's good, it's got a good SPF. Always remember to use SPF on your skin, especially on your face. This, an Aussie Miracle Hydration Shampoo for damaged hair. Somehow sad, it says. I used it up. Did I like it? Yes. Was it worth the price? I mean, you can use the Pantene one, it's a little bit cheaper, but it was good. Let's just give it a. I love the smell. I love the smell. You're gonna get hair over heels. Not hair mascara. This is uh, Perfect Curls by Pantene for curly hair. Yeah, it's the fancy spell that everything has and it's... Was it good? Yes! Did I recommend it? Yes! <laughs> I mean, I try lots of products just to review them and whatnot. Then there's this Svarskov Dry Shampoo and it works really well. It doesn't leave your hair looking all whitey and everything and I've purchased it several times and other Garnier towels. Then there's this refreshing spring water spray for every skin type you know in summer when you have to freshen up you just take it and you spray it all over your face and it's good but it's so you can it's empty so you can hear it then I use this face mascara but by facial derm natural cosmetics uh, this was given me as a sample did I like it uh, not so much don't spend your money with it. Another, yet another hair mascara because now I chopped it but I had it long this length up to the middle of the back length and I needed a lot of mascara and whatnot. And this is Nutri Intense by Fructis for dry and damaged hair. I love the smell. <laughs> I'm sure to you if you can smell it but I love this Fructis smell. It's very summery. Another Garnier palette. Yet another one. 
Oh my. How many? Do you keep the count? I don't. Then there's a spantine for normal um, um, thick hair, for curly hair. I finished it up. Uh, was it good? Yes, I've repurchased it many, many times in my life. That's this hair repair with liquid keratin by Glaze from Sbarsco. This is the instant conditioner. Did I like it? Yes. Am I gonna repurchase it? No, no. There are many other things I'm using. The I'm using the Fito one right now, which I love and I have repurchased it. See, this is the John Frieda Freezes three day straight hair. Um, Styling spray, semi permanent, which I was talking to you about. Which I I have curly hair, natural curly hair, and I use this in the um, Tresme heat protector. Now I like wait, and I like it way more than the other one that I was showing you from L'Oreal. Way to go, this one. Then there's the Garnier Micellar Water. Do you like it? Yes. Will I repurchase it? Of course. Am I testing other products? Of course. So, which one is better? This or the Bioderm? It's up to you. I mean, however you want to spend. Then there's this Ole, Ole Essentials cleansing towels that you have to wet on, on the water. And did they work? Yeah. Did they remove the makeup? Of course. Uh, well, I repurchase it. But I think I'm gonna pass because it's a bit expensive and I always have to finish with my silver water to remove the the remainings of the makeup, so I prefer the other Garnier towels one, but yeah. Then there's this palm oil Mediterranean moments with argan oil and almond. It was good, it was really good. But I'm gonna test them a little bit more. Oh, I'm sorry, it's falling all apart. Oh my god, you should see the amount of product. Then there's this GHD Thermal Protector for Normal and Fine Hair. Was it good? Yes. Am I gonna purchase it again? No. Why? Because the Tresemme is just as good and it's way cheaper than this one. So, I'm gonna pass. Then there's uh, Rexana. I mean, how many products can you use in a year, right? This is Rexana Max Maximum Protection for Sensitive Dry Skin. Uh, good strength the deodorant for the summertime and whatnot. Yes. Then there's this hand cream by Rituals, which is heavy hands, mandarin, and mint. Was it good? Yes. Well, I repurchase it, of course. It smells. Let me. Yeah, it smells really good and it's really moisturizing and I like it. And I have other moisturizers that I'm using right now. Are they just as good as this? Yeah, maybe. Do I like them? No, they're more sticky and they don't smell as good. So I'm gonna repurchase this one I keep the other one. And there's whitening toothpaste, toothpaste that I bought from Australia called White Glow, for professional choice one. Is it good? Yes. Does it work? Yes. Do I like it? Yes. Am I gonna repurchase it? Once I get finished with the other thousand toothpastes that I'm using, probably yes, but I don't keep all the toothpaste um, empty tubes. I kept this one because I really liked it and I wanted to show it to you guys. Then there's the, this H&S Heads and Shoulders All-in-One uh, Dandruff Conditioning Shampoo. I used it because I was having a dandruff uh, episode in my life and it worked. Then there's, oh, look at this, another toothpaste. There's this Marvis Whitening Man one, it's an Italian one, it's just really fancy. Did I like it? Yes. Uh, will I purchase it again? Probably not because it was really expensive and there are cheaper choices that you can find at the drugstore for much less of a price. This was from the pharmacy. Then, moving on. Oh my god, yes. Oh, it's slippery. And then there's the Olay Essentials Complete Care Face Moisturizer with SPF 15. Was it good? Yes. Will I repurchase it? Probably yes, but I'm gonna attest many other things. So it's empty, I've used it up. And it was for a surprise. I mean, I used to, oh, then there's this <laughs> Dante Blanc. I, I seem to have collected more than I thought, more tubes than I thought. This is the current one that I'm using. Am I loving it? Yes, it's a really good one. Then there's this Job Down Zoom Moon uh, from Yves Rocher uh, Velvety Shower Cream with Macadamia Nuts. This is just so delicious. 
like you want to eat it. This is how good it is. Uh, I'm not gonna repurchase it once I get finished of all the shower products that I have. Of course, yeah. Then there's this Clean and Clear um, anti dark spots daily exfoliant. That was good. That was good. What can I say? Moving on. Oh God, Herbal Essences. Uh, the blue one for dry, damaged hair, the conditioner. My, the hair theme must be nearby, but it was real good. Real good. Oh, it's falling apart. Really. Oh, you cannot imagine. Another Garnier towels. I told you I used this a lot. I love it. Then this this Fido one that I'm telling you, nourishing day cream with night plants, ultra dry hair. I'm currently using this one as well. I have another tube in back in my shower and I use this. This is a live-in conditioner and it's really good. It's a bit expensive but it's good. Let's move on to the herbal essences, the shampoo, the blue one with coconut. It smells really good. Was it good? Yes. Well I'll repurchase it probably. Let's move on to this, oh, I love this one. It's a new NYX Raptor Miel Face Cleansing and Makeup Removing Gel, which says it soothes, softs, soothes softens with honey and sunflower. It was delicious. It smelled delicious and it cleaned my makeup like nobody's business. Well, Robert just said, yeah, I already forgot about it, but yeah, I have to finish up all the products that I have. Been. So I'm the first one. Yes, this is good. Then there's this micellar water from L'Oreal. I cannot believe I used as many products as I did. And this is a so, soft and sublime. I don't know. Was it good? Yes. I like the Garnier and the Bioderma better, but it was good. I used it up as you can see. I mean, these are empty products. Then this Roger Galet. Um, Creme du Jusel, gentle shower cream, relaxing, so free with sensitive skin. It was really good. It was a sample that I was given. It was really good. Real, real good. What do you know? Another Bioderma. Oh, this is a hat, but it's really expensive. This is the Eye and Lip Contour Balm with Botanical Extracts by Sisley. It was worth every penny. But I'm not currently using it because it's really expensive. So it's that. Then there's... My god, I'm using a lot of products, right? Then this is Nivea Q10 Roll-On Eye Energizer. It wasn't as good as the Sisley one, but it worked. It did the job. Another toothpaste that I tried, Sensodyne, quite name one. Good. It was good. Moisturizers. Face moisturizers. Garnier Hydra Adapt. I'm not gonna. I. I. The, it, the, it, it was an offer. Let's put it this way. It was buy one get one half off or something like that, and I did. I used up the first tube. I still have another one. It's not the best one. You can pass on that. God! Oral B 3D White Lux Glamour Shine. It was good, but I like better the Crest one. This Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation in True Ivory. Pass on this. This doesn't work. It's ugly. It looks ugly. Exact. It oxidizes and it's terrible. Terrible. Don't buy it. Oh, there's this treatment for the hair from the local brand. Pass it. Maybelline Lash Explosion. The Rocket. Is it called? The one with this one. It's just. It's just up already. Was it good? Yes. We'll purchase it again. Once I'm done with all the other mascaras that I have, yes. Another mascara. This is a basic cosmetics, extreme volume, waterproof. It was good, but it dried on me. I have several of this finished 
and it was the Maybelline um, it's a uh, eyebrow pencil, I don't know the name, you know the color, it's the brown, it's like a waxy eyebrow pencil, it was really good. I finished several of these and full of repurchases, of course. Another dab, Go Fresh. Uh, moisturizing, nutritive, shower gel, lovely. I like the other one better, the macadamia. This, uh, this it was the summertime. In the summertime, I like fresher scents, so this one. Another white glow tube, what do you know? And I thought I didn't keep them. Reverta Lift from L'Oreal Eye Cream. I used it up, but it's a hoax. It's a hoax. <coughs> then there's this, <laughs> it's falling apart. You should, be, you should see my bed. The, Apivita Natural Serum Line Reducer with Reservatrol and Vitamin E and it comes with a dropper like so and it was really good. I might repurchase it again but it's an expensive product. Currently I'm using the the, the Kiehl's one, the Midnight Recovery I think it's called. Moving on, another facial cream, 24 hour hydrating gel cream from Riddles. It was really good, I really liked it. I might repurchase this again. It was really good. I told you it was a huge, huge empties. Then there's this, um, the stressing bell cells depuffing eye thingy. I repurchased it again, but the, the new one, this thing, the roller, fell off terrible. It was good, it was good, but I've seen better, like the Sisley one. Then there's this Essence I Heart, I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. I really, oh my, it's really dry. Oh, can you see the pieces falling apart? It was really good. You can see the one. I, I have repurchased it again, so. So, then there's this Broken Cap Reft Miel Lip Balm from Nukes. I really loved it and I already repurchased it and I'm using it, which is, it actually is in here, as you can see. And moving on, because we have to move on, then there's this Pantene uh, Repair and Protect Conditioner, it was really good and I already repurchased it and I am using it. From the same range, this uh, hair mascara. Also you so really good. Another hair mascara. This was the coconut one from the Herbal Essences collection and it was really good and it's empty as well. Oh, I can use a lot of product. You like you never know. Then this Bio Beauté by NYX with his high nutrition cream for sensitive skin with natural cold cream. Um, it was good. It was good for an everyday moisturizer. Another Colgate Advanced Whitening. It was good. Will I repurchase it? Probably. And then there's this Repair and Protect Shampoo from Pantene for curly hair. That's good. Then the Garnier Original Remedies with avocado and curry oil for hair, rebel hair. It was good. I love this one. It's the Ginger Fresh Shower Gel Simulating by Roger Collet. It was really good. Really expensive. I will wait to repurchase it. Another finished stuff. Happy Hands from Mandarin and Mill by Rituals. I told you I really like this one. The famous Tresemme uh, Diamond Spray Heat Protectant Spray. This one. I mean, this is the one. And last but not least, there's this Nivea uh, Aqua Effect Cleansing Mousse. Did I like it? I liked, I liked way more the Nuke's one, but I finished it up. It was alright. So, okay, I don't know how long it's been, but that's been a huge empty garbage bag that now I can go to the garbage to throw it away that I filled with products. And now they're here, as you can see. And 
these are mini reviews, really fast reviews. Though these were products that I used to have mainly because I liked them. I hope you enjoyed this uh, empties haul and have a great day. Please subscribe and see you again soon. Bye!